to make this simple about hepatitis B cure and what are some new pieces of information that make cure a little bit more difficult for us to achieve both uh, realistically and on a molecular basis. So cure means no infection, everything gone, nothing left from the virus. And right now, cure for hepatitis B is not possible. Right now we're using the word functional cure when patients lose S antigen. But that's very difficult to do with our current medications, which are oral medications such as nucleoside or nucleotides or interferon. And the cure rate, the functional cure rate there with the S loss is maybe 10 to 20%. One of the confusing issues is where does S antigen come from? The recent paper that was published from Arrowhead that was in Science Translational Medicine showed that integrated hepatitis B genes make surface antigen and bring that surface antigen out even though it's not coming from the virus, it's not coming from the CCC DNA. So you can clear the cell of CCC DNA, but the integrants continue to make S antigen. So if you want to get to a sterilizing cure that removes all S antigen production, we'll need to go into the liver cell gene and extract the integrants. We're gonna to have to take out those short segments of the hepatitis B DNA that have integrated into the hepatocyte DNA. So functional cure, short term, yes, we'll get there in 30 to 40% of patients. Sterilizing cure, remove all CCC DNA, and I'll call it super sterilizing cure, which means to remove the integrants. Thank you. Next question. HPV commonly clogs the circulating DNA. It's very important target of therapy. There are not only studies try to eliminate, eliminate, eliminate uh, CCC DNA, but also studies try to uh, inactive or silence it. Could you please give us a brief introduction on the most potential novel drugs under investigate, investigated? So you are correct. CCC DNA is this intermediate of the virus that sits in the nucleus that codes all the hepatitis B genes, all of the pregenomic RNA comes off CCC DNA. But CCC DNA is complicated. It's heavily modified and it sits in a twisted or untwisted or partially untwisted form. So we can decrease CCC DNA indirectly with things like interferon. We can decrease it indirectly by capsid inhibitors because capsid are required to replenish CCC DNA. Or we can go into the nucleus and directly attack CCC DNA. That might be with methods called endonucleases where you open up the CCC DNA and just cut it or more advanced therapies such as zinc finger nucleases, talons, and most recently CRISPR-Cas9. Those are ways that we can cut, slice, dice, and eliminate all CCC DNA once we have the target correct and we make sure we're not having off-target side effects. Okay, so the last question. Uh, when designed a clinical trial on drug targeting uh, CCC DNA, what kind of patient is in and what surrogate marks should be taken as therapy and point? So it's a great question. Drugs that directly target CCC DNA, I still think are three to four years away. Indirectly targeting CCC DNA is happening right now because all the different drugs we're using in phase two and phase three studies for hepatitis B have some effect on CCC DNA levels. So indirectly, we're doing it now. Direct attack, I think, is three to five years away, such as CRISPR-Cas9. Now, the best test, indirect test, or surrogate test for CCC DNA is the hepatitis B core antibody. When we clear CCC DNA, we stop making all core antigen, correlated antigen. I believe the titer of core antibody will fall. And in my future, is S-clearance, DNA clearance, CCC DNA clearance, and core antibody will disappear. That's my summary.